Previously on Octopath Traveler 2, Hikari was put in charge of overseeing Ku's castle town. His father wanted to make him the next king in order to lead Ku down a more peaceful path, but his brother Mugen obviously wouldn't accept this. Hikari tried to investigate a secret meeting in the outskirts of town, but was a trap set by his former friend Ritsu. Worse yet, Mugen launched a military coup and killed King Jigo, along with the civilians who were slaying with Hikari. Alright, Kennelbrine Bridge. I'm gonna see if going by boat gets me anything special. Okay, there is something here. Lance! Silver sword. Fight. Oh no, it's that thing. I'm just getting warm. I, I, I don't know how to hit it very easily. It's your shift now, friend. Very well. Take this. That's how it's done. Alright. All right. Forgive me. My turn. My blade saves. Ha ha! You said it, yeah. Have you now? Whirlwind blow! One My damage. Uh, what is we use the dark powers of Finn me then. Yes! I, I actually did it! Much to learn. I killed the rare enemy! Look at those level ups, nice! Using the power of darkness! Refreshing jam! Master bridge builder who roamed the world practicing his trade. Having no permanent apprentices, he hires local carpenters and artisans as necessary for each project. After losing his parents and siblings in a bridge building accident, he became unbendingly strict about work site safety, which sometimes leads to being but difficult. Interesting. Being cautious is key, so is the will to build. Ice soul stone. This and that, and I can't do- I can't forget that. Uh, there's so much to do. Cleansing leaf. Healing grape bunch. Western Kennelbrine coast. Sticky flower. 1500. Spiriting Plum M. Herb of Serenity. Traveler's Bow. Healing Crepe M. Finally made the kennel brine. That's right, I had business here. Well, not doing that yet. Tail for another day. Nutrient deficiency. Too long on the open seas, I take it. I also see symptoms of severe dehydration. Apothecary. <laughs> Everything's going dim. Please heal me. Easy now. It'll be all right. Healthy, nutrient rich food is what he needs most right now. If only I had some fruit. Healing grape times one. Okay. Good thing they picked the easiest one to farm. Grapes! Thank you. This is just what I was looking for. Here, eat this. Thanks. Uh, I feel much better now. Remember to maintain a balanced diet. That'll help keep you healthy. Take care. I appreciate the help. My name is Casti. I'm a traveling apothecary. 
Are you a traveler as well? I have lost my memories, and am searching for clues to who I once was. If you wouldn't mind sharing the road with me, may I join you on your travels? Take Cassie along, yes. Thank you. Okay, all eight travelers recruited, but I need to hear the tale. You have the power to save lives. More than any other. That's why... You have to live. If anyone can create a cure, it's you. It's up to you now. Over there! There's someone on that skiff! Finally come to, have you? Feeling better yet? You've got the luck of the tides, you know. Uh, why can't I stand? My throat... <laughs> too dry. Easy now, lass. You've had a rough time of it. Drink up. Thank you for saving me. Couldn't well leave you to the fishes. How'd you end up on that little skiff, anyhow? Skiff? I don't know. I can't remember. Come on. This isn't the time for jokes. I'm sorry, but I really can't remember anything. Who I am, where I came from, it's all a blink. Hmm. I know one thing about you, lass. Your name, it's Casti. Casti. How... How did you know that? It's stitched onto your outfit. What's that uniform of yours anyway? Ah, right. Amnesia. Strange to think a person could forget their own name. I have to remember. First things first. I need information. Somewhere to start. It will be difficult to learn who I am. Nevertheless, the crew of the ship should know more about the circumstances of my rescue. I should inquire about that, and the ship while I'm at it. Inquire around for more information. During the day, Cassie can inquire and learn all sorts of information from townspeople, but pro I have pro probably have to be up a certain level. Inquire. 
Captain of a ferry connecting the eastern and western continents. Rescuing Cassie was simply a matter of obeying his duty as a captain, but he feels a special kinship with her as she reminds him of his own daughter, who died suddenly in an accident. That was very helpful. Are you okay, miss? Scares me to even think of forgetting my husband and daughter. I've heard of amnesia before, but never actually met someone who had it. Press up, Casty. Your body needs time to recover. Do you really lose your memories? Your story is the first I've heard of its kind. Clean up the clean the deck, prepare to unload the cargo. My work's never done here. Wait, why are there random encounters here? That's not right, is it? I'm glad I'm the lookout. I can see further than anyone, everyone else on the ship. A rare slothful soldier will have a spy cast his skiff while avoiding his work. Bruce's dereliction of his du those dereliction of his duty was revealed. His keen eyes earned him a permanent post as a lookout. Thank you. We should be able to see the harbor soon. The fresh-faced captain of a ferry connecting the eastern and western continents. He became violently seasick on his main voyage and completely lost heart by the time the boat docked in the bright lands. He will hand his resignation the moment he returns to the harbor lands. Thank you. Oof, an apothecary in a blue uniform I see. A soldier returning to the western continent, having completed his duties. While on the eastern continent, he heard rumors of a group of apothecaries wearing blue uniforms who kill a large group of people. Plus, he feels Cassie's appearance is an ill omen. Thank you. I think that's about all I need for now. Based on the predominant currents in this region of the ocean, it's likely my skiff sets sail from somewhere on the continent to the east. From my exhaustion and the severity of my dehydration, it's fair to estimate that I was adrift for several days. Hold on. How do I know all of this? Not much point in wondering. I should instead thank my lucky stars that I was rescued. Now, to go over what else I learned. This passenger ship embarked from the Brightlands several days ago. Its destination is a large port town called Canelbrine. Perhaps there's someone there who can shed a light on who I am. Ah, yes. These kind sailors brought my possessions to the passenger's cabin. Maybe they can offer some material clues as to my identity. I should sort through them before we make landfall. Ap Apothecary Satchel. Hmm. This satchel. I... recognize it. It's mine. It seems rather hastily stuffed. I must have been in quite the hurry. Medicinal herbs... A mortar and pestle. For preparing salves and the like, no doubt. Well, well. It seems I am, I was, an apothecary. Hmm? What's this? A white flower? Why would I have something like this? Yet another mystery. Land ho! All hands on deck! Sure, you'll be all right, lass. Hard to get by without memories. 
I have remembered a little. Enough. I was an apothecary. I appreciate your concern, but no need to fret about me. I'll remember the rest in time. That's all. Know the seas, and you'll know thyself. An old sea dog taught me that proverb. May the wind and the waves always find you well, Casti. Thank you, Captain. For everything. What a bustling little town. Hey, get a load of her. Huh? She's one of them, isn't she? Yeah, no mistaking it. I appear to be causing quite a stir. Oh well. First things first. I need to find clues as to who I may be. I should speak to the people of this town. I might glean some knowledge about my past. A fisherman who gets drunk every night. He often falls asleep on the way home and has to sail for another day's fishing from there. Every time this happens, he vows never to drink again, but by evening that all is forgotten. Thank you. Dark the Lion. A sailor who works for, on the ferry. Pretends to be a born and bred man of the sea, but is actually from Beasting Village. The first boat he stepped aboard was the one that took him away from home to seek his fortune. He thought sailing would be a simple matter of riding the waves and greatly regrets his career choice now that he knows how punishing it truly is. That was very helpful. Grape Leaf. A count brine boy and love of a girl from the eastern continent. He is trying to give her a gift that will convey his feelings before she leaves, so it will success. The experience has brought him face to face with his own cowardice for the first time. That was very helpful. The Spiriting Plum. It seems I've been given a cold shoulder. In that case, I'll just have to try my luck with someone else. Excuse me, are you all right? What's going on here? Is something wrong with him? He's burning up. We need to get him inside. Looks like sun fever. He's covered in rashes. Rash. Vomiting. It could be the onset of some sort of strange poison. I should have the herbs to treat this. Hold on for just a moment. Okay. This is basically the knockout mechanic, but you have to spend items to use it. Are you really going to give that boy your medicine? Brother. Okay, I have four... Like can't fight antipyretic. Hope we can get more of those. Step one, lower the fever. Luckily, we caught the sickness in its early stages. Dash of lycanth seed mixed with some of these herbs should do the trick. Good. 
I still remember my craft at least. <laughs> there, there. Drink up. Slowly now. That's a good boy. Phew. The fever's receding. He's sleeping peacefully now. Your work was flawless from diagnosis to treatment. The very model of an apothecary. Thank you, Miss... Uh... Malaya. I'm a traveling apothecary. Thank you, Malaya. My name's Casti. Sorry to say, I don't remember much else. I was an apothecary, but what kind I cannot say. I've... come down with a bad case of amnesia. What? Then how did you diagnose and treat that boy? It seems my hands still remember their craft. Strange, isn't it? Hmm. Who are you? Wait. That blue uniform. It can't be. Get back! Don't you dare touch my brother! What? Senna! Did she hurt you? How'd you sneak in here? What'd you do to him? Calm down. She's an apothecary. She treated your brother for his ills. Out! You're one of them, aren't you? Heirs apothecaries. Heirs apothecaries? What? That blue uniform. That sigil. There's no mistaking it. <sighs> The whole town's in an uproar about you, witch. Word is, one of you pestilence mongers have been lurking about. Pestilence monger? I don't understand. And I don't care. Out! Out! Let's go, Casty. Who are these... heirs apothecaries? I've heard the name before. You have? What sort of people are they? Why was that man so hostile to me? Mm. Ah, what's wrong with me? We have far more pressing business than my lost history. I fear Senna's illness is only the beginning. If I can't identify the root of this sickness, it could engulf the whole town. There's no time to waste. You're going to help them, even after how you've been treated? Would your time not be better spent treating your own woes? Saving these people comes first. As long as I can heal the sick, who I am is ultimately trivial. <sighs> the very model of an apothecary indeed. Very well. You have my aid. Let's split up and find the source of this sickness. Malaya, thank you. One of those heirs apothecaries, aren't you? We won't let you fool us. I'm sorry, but would you mind telling me about these apothecaries? I'm unfamiliar with them. Don't play dumb. Everyone knows what that little band of apothecaries have been up to on the Eastern Continent. They travel around charging only a pittance for services. But it's all a sham. Their medicine is poison, and they've killed more than they've helped. 
I even heard they butchered an entire town not long ago. <sighs> I don't know what dark purpose drives them, and I don't care. Word is, one of them just showed up in town, and you're the only strange apothecary around here, so... You... may be right. The truth is, I don't know if I am what you think I am. I remember little of my past. A likely story! We're on to you! Off with you! Who I was and what I've done, I cannot say. Nevertheless, right now all I want is to help the people of this town. I'm looking for clues as to what is causing the people here to grow sick. Please, if you know anything, tell me. Marlo, what's wrong? Stop! Get away from him! What's the big idea? He needs help! Or do you want me to leave him there to die? I said step away! He may be contagious! C contagious I knew it. The symptoms are the same. I need to ease his fever, and quickly. I'll carry him. All of you stay here. There. He should make it now. She... she healed Marlo. Just who are you, really? Help! People are fainting from some sort of strange fever! What in the world's going on? Damn! And of course this happens while our healers are away. Let me treat them. Soup's ill. What the? Slumber Sage. This guy better have something good. Take this. Good night. Where'd he go? Well, he's just sleeping all the way over there. Okay. This better be worth it. Woodcutter's great axe. That better be fair. I hope that's better than the small axe. Somewhat better. It's not that great, but it does save me a purchase at the weapon shop. It'll probably be enough to actually beat the chapter, and then I can go equip some better axe from the main party. He's showing saying I'm right here with you. Brother. What in the world is going on? So don't need to worry, we can see how things unfold from the end. Mom and Papa, I'm scared. Don't worry, Mom and Papa are right here. Resist and nut. Locked. Papa Curry, we need an Papa Curry. Check near Ian, the rest is up to you, Cassie. The old man in this house suddenly came down with a high fever and collapsed. His granddaughter went looking for an apothecary, but hasn't come back yet. Can't believe what happened to that kid. Real right, answer me. I have exactly enough to uh, help all the NPCs, huh? Here, medicine. Thanks for saving me, miss. Good night. Something else, I couldn't do a thing. You're one of the good ones, aren't you? We have an emergency. I tried to bring the fever down, but it's not working. I'm all right. Here, medicine. My fever's broken, thanks to you. You have my gratitude. Good night. You have my gratitude. We managed to avert a crisis thanks to you. You truly are an incredible apothecary. I'm sorry I ever doubted you. Mom, Mom, are you okay? The ceiling is spinning. Someone, please help me. Last one. Here, medicine. Thank you. I feel a little better now. 
There. I've done what I can for now. The sickness is spreading fast. We need to find its source or there won't be anyone standing before long. Are they... are they better? We're out of the woods for now, but it's too early to breathe easy. I, uh... I'm sorry about before. I shouldn't have said what I did. Senna gave me a tongue lashing about it too. He said you saved his life. I know I've got no right to ask this after how I treated you, but please, save our town, save my friends. I intend to, but I need your aid first. Help me locate the source of this contagion. Does that mean we'll have to go back to daytime to investigate? Huh. Well, I don't know if this will help, but... Earlier today, Senna said the water tasted funny. Hey, Ma said the same thing to me this morning. Really? I boiled some water this morning and didn't notice anything strange. The water? Of course! Maybe those who contracted this illness all drank the water without boiling at first. If that's true, then that must be the source. A fine deduction, Casty. I agree. We draw our water from a spring that flows out of a cavern south of town. Then my course is clear. I must hurry to this cavern and cleanse the spring before the sickness spreads further. We're coming too. This is our town. It's our job to protect it. Wait, are they all going to join the party? I appreciate the offer, but I'm afraid I must insist that you stay. Cleansing noxious substances is dangerous work. Stay here and see to your sick. Well, all right. Take care of yourself, Apothecary. Malaya, could you remain here to treat these people? You have a habit of putting others above yourself, don't you? Fine, just come back in one piece, Casty. <laughs> I'll try. The world needs more apothecaries like you, Malaya. I'm setting out for the cave to the south. I'll be back soon. Camelbrine Water Source. You're the only one who could have saved this town, Casty. I see, I see, you're quite a skilled healer. Do you really save everyone? Too soon to celebrate. Is Papa alright? Papa will take care of everything. Dark to Lion. Well now, what to do, what to do? Four ingredients? How am I supposed to know what each one does? I'm gonna have to get a spreadsheet. And boost mode actually increases the number of ingredients I need? Dang. This'll cool to be done. I know no cure for evil. Plum leaf. 
Aha, there was a secret path back here. Empowering ring. Guard's helm. Grape leaf. Herb of healing. These bars are broken. Something must have forced its way in here. The wellspring is just a little further. I'll need to approach it with caution. The war source. Diffusing serum. Cleansing leaf. Old armor. Herb of healing. What is this foul smell? It is true what they say. Filth is the root of all illness. Now then, what is it that's made all this mess? Foul vapors abound. I need to be careful not to inhale any effluvia. <sighs> I think I found the source. So you're the ones causing all this trouble. Bloodshot eyes and jaws dripping with venomous foam. It's obvious that you're infected. Your very touch poisons the waters here, sickening all who drink it. I couldn't convince you to leave peacefully, could I? The townsfolk need these waters more than you. <sighs> it was worth a shot. Time to clean up this mess. Quiet down. What to do? Baron Doron. So Dreamy Flower, unfortunately, I don't know if I can make good use of this. This will cool. This will. I am unwell. My turn. This Eyes carefully. Uh, well now. Yeah, it's really random when you use weeds. You're not supposed to just use random weeds to pick off the ground. Naughty deeds are bitter medicine. My turn. This will Proc. Well now. Okay, if I can just stall for time a bit. This will cool you now. Must I purge this infection? I don't have an ice type one, do I? Dang it! Problem is, all the I don't. It's gonna be hard to collect these, so. I just I should only use them to put things to sleep. This will cool you. <sighs> well now. Buy some time, but not by much. This will cool you. Down. <sighs> what to do? What to do? 
This'll cool I'm terribly sorry. My turn. No mercy, only pain. No mercy, only pain. I used to call on you. This'll cool you down. Damn, I'm still alive. <laughs> well now. And Tamping woke up. I'm gonna need some inspiriting plums if I want to keep up this assault. What? The one with more health eight. How deplorable. It just cannibalized its own kind. Oh crap. <laughs> what a noisome odor. The cannibalizing its own empower it somehow? How troublesome. I'll need to handle this quickly. What if you try to kill them at the same time? Is that even possible? But the problem is we don't see their hitpoint count, so it's pretty much it's very difficult to pull that off. Here I go. Damn. I'm unwell. I've got just the cure. What to do? What to do? Huh. Oh no! Well, Concoct without using materials. My turn. These hands. So I could say use Bluster Bloom five times without using anything up. That sounds pretty cool and sounds necessary because I am currently debuffed in physical attack. So magic is the only way. Naughty deeds. <laughs> oh, nuts. Here I go. Shields actually went up too. This will make it all right. <laughs> well, now. Damn. Wait, it actually did use some ingredients. What the heck? I'm all the way down to free. They lied to me with the latent power. Well, fuck it. Let's use normal attacks. My turn. I must have been doing something wrong. Shouldn't I end up using way too many? I said, call. This will cool you. Have to be done. I know no cure for evil. Don't think badly of me. That takes care of the root of this illness. All that's left is to sprinkle pure bomb leaves around. Liberally. With time, the corruption here should fade. There, a dash or two of pure bomb for myself, too. It won't do anything for the smell, but I'll feel better for it nonetheless. Now, back to town to relay the good news. Cleared the source of the infection polluting your waters. Might want to boil it for a while, though. The spring will run clean again in time. 
Nevertheless, I recommend boiling all your water for a good while yet. Thank you! Thank you! You're Senna's brother, yes? How is he? Back on his feet, and as rambunctious as ever. Not a trace of that nasty fever left. I'm glad to hear it. Allow me to stop by later to check on him, just in case. We were wrong about you. You helped us, even after we treated you like dirt. How can we ever make it up to you? <laughs> Don't worry. It's clean water under the bridge. Although... I do have one request. Anything. Just name it, Casty. May I borrow your bath? I'm glad our paths crossed, Casty. But it's time for me to move on. The open road is called. Malaya, may I ask what it is that compels you to travel? <sighs> I'm searching for a way to cure a terrible disease. I've identified the ingredients I need to brew the medicine, but I've yet to discover the correct recipe. So I travel in hopes of completing my cure, and saving as many lives as I can along the way. Is there anything I can do to assist you? No. This is my problem. My burden to bear. You have your own troubles to see to. Your memory, for one. I need to know who those apothecaries are. And who I am as well. I can't rest until I know. Malaya, correct me if I'm wrong, but you seem to know something about them. Mm. Please, Malaya, I need to know. Tell me, I'm begging you. Inquire. Unfortunately, I reviewed my footage and it turns out I actually forgot to press the Y button to activate the latent power in the first place. So I just wasted all those ingredients for nothing and I can't even redo the battle because I saved over my old save. Damn it. Inquire. Enough of a curry men count, Brian. She's on a journey in search of the recipes for various medicinal compounds. She seems to know of errors of public carries, but will say nothing about them. What the? It glitched on me. Wait, you were the person carrying her. Casty. You have the power to save lives more than any other. That's why you have to live. Wait, how do you even catch up to Casty if you were all the way over here? Anyone can create a cure. It's you. It's up to you now. Live. There's someone you have to save. <sighs> it can't be. 
pray your memory returns, Casty. One day. Farewell. Wait. And that woman in my vision. That was Malaya. Then we've met before? What's going on? Malaya. What made you act as if you didn't know me? Why would you... <clears throat> Malaya. Malaya! <clears throat> it was Malaya who put me aboard that skiff. But why? Who... Or what were we running from? If only I could remember. I need more clues. Something else to go on. A hidden pocket in the bottom of my satchel? A book. Treatment log. In my hands, I held a diary. One I'm sure was penned by my own hand. It contained a record of treatments given, patients seen. Two towns were mentioned within its pages. Psy and Winter Bloom, more notable by far. It's covered with blood. Everything beyond the first few pages is too stained and smeared with blood to make out. What in the world is the story here? It's time I went on my own journey. This journal is the only clue I have. I have little choice but to visit Sai and Winterbloom and see what I can find. I need to rediscover who I am. And there's something else, something important I'm forgetting. I need to remember. So Cassie leaves the port town. Why had she been set adrift on the open seas? What link does she have with Heirs Apothecaries? And who is the mu mysterious healer Malaya? In order to reclaim her lost memories, Cassie sets out on a journey. Cassie and Apothecary Chapter 1 End. Any ache, pain, or ill, I'll patch you right up. I'm sure you won't regret having me around. You choose the road for now, and I'll follow. Okay, replace... really wish they would just let us replace the first party member. I don't know why they even have that arbitrary rule. A new Delta trader, productive and involved in many lines of business. He came to the Western continent to seek new wares. He travels with his family, believing that they should see the world as well. New equipment for sale. Thank you. Okay, this guy has some quest items and rare stuff, so I'm gonna mug him. It's really hard to steal. I'll take that. You're a rare incomprehensible individual, you know that? I like my odds. I need a plan. Hmm. Calculations come. <laughs> I've gained valuable insight. Okay, Vivid Jewel and Dragon Kit Vase. Worthwhile endeavor. 
All right, obtain the quest item Fort Orochi plans. Plans for a stronghold in the nation of you. <laughs> now, I bet that would have cost a lot. Hold on, I think this guy is relevant to the wealthy boy quest. An entrepreneur will at a young age. He spoiled his son out of pay for a boy who never knew his mother. Now residing quietly in Calibrain, he still worries about his son's doings in New Delta. Eh. Stuff is really hard to sell. <laughs> Can I just mug you instead? Strength 4. I think I should go for it. I like my arms. Now then. Calculations complete. Try again. Hmm. Indulge me for a moment. <coughs> Do I not have any means to break you? I need a plan. Oh crap. Indulge me for a moment. Thinking time. Found a weakness. So that's the only way to break you. Hmm. A freaking normal attack. No. Let me show you. Calculations complete. Roar, thunder. There we go. Hmm. I've seen worse methods. There, are all the stuff. A worthwhile endeavor. I don't see how I'm supposed to. No, I have to alert him. Who has the nighttime alert again? Oh, Slumber Sage. No, I can alert him using. Temenos, anyways. Guide for free. Come, my wayward lamb. I'm in your hands, traveler. So, will bring this guy to his son really work, or will it just be a bust? I know his son is all the way in New Delta. Uh, okay, it worked, it worked! What perfect timing. I've got a bit of an itch on my back, and if you scratch my back, I'll scratch yours with leaves. I cannot believe my ears. Father, what are you doing here? I came to see how my son is doing, and I must say, I'm very disappointed. If you want something, you had best learn to get yourself. How dare you treat others like your servants? I'm sorry, I thought giving people money would make them happy. Now of that ungrateful attitude, you fool. This is all my fault, all, and I shall atone by making sure you get a thorough education on how to treat others. Eep! I'm sorry you had to see that. But thanks to you, I was able to teach him a long overdue lesson. Thank you, Sniffle. 9,000 and Sharp Nut. The apologies to everyone I have used. I won't do it again, truly. I use that of gratitude. My son's a new man and he's learned to stand on his own two feet at last. A high ranking cleric who preaches the faith in distant regions. Her abilities and position in the hierarchy qualify her to run a church in a major city, but she prefers her humble, challenging work. She is gentle and warm by nature, but terrifying when angry. A writer who roams the town by night. He claims this is because stories are born while the world sleeps, but it's actually because his unhealthy work habits have inverted his sleep schedule. The help downsides have not escaped him. Easier inquiries. The wife of a trader from New Delta, traveling with him and their daughter on a business trip to Western Continent. Her husband is so neglect uh, her husband so neglected his home life for work that the two came perilously near divorce. But she was satisfied with the solution they arrived at, traveling the guards of family so they can all spend more time together. Hidden item. That was very helpful. Slumber Sage. A regular in the audience at the Tavern Sage, a passionate fan of one of the dancers, never tries to speak to her, but remembers her every performance down to the slightest word or gesture. Iron Axe. I wonder where he is. I've been waiting all night. I know this is the right place. What if something happened to him? Waiting all day and night? It's gone, gone. Where in the world did I drop it? The last time I remember seeing it was in town Brightlands. After that, I took board a ship heading this way via Totohaha. But now I don't have any more. How- Oh, how could I be so careless? Ball of white powder? Is that cocaine? I remember getting it from one of the people at the ports. Yes, that's it. This is the ball I dropped. It contains the ashes of a dear friend. We met on the road and found each other oddly pleasant company. After that, we stuck together on our travels. He told me he left home because there was nothing there but desert. He wanted more and hoped to find on his travels. But then he fell ill and, well... All I want now is to go back home. Pour my ashes into de that desert so I can sleep in the sand. 
That was his dying wish. I can't thank you enough for finding this. Sorry, old friend. I won't lose you again. Critical nut in 4,000. According to Guide, the person sitting here in during the day is actually different from the one sitting there at night. This makes no sense. I've been waiting all day. I know this is the right place, but I'm getting tired of waiting here. So if I lead you... Right this way. I guess I can use a change of pace. Yup. You know at last. Where in the world have you been, little brother? I guess you the same question, big brother. I thought something terrible had happened to you. Let me guess, I got their AM and PM mixed up. And you think I didn't worry too? I stayed here all day in case you turned up. Well, I stayed here waiting all night. Wait a second, you mean we were waiting at different times of day and kept missing each other? If you hadn't noticed, we might have, ne we might have never found each other. Thank you, friend. Magic Nut Empowering Light Chi. Trust my big brother to waste a whole day without even double checking, huh? Learn about when and where to g meet Got Dirty, and I miss her at the time. Trust my little brother to set up a meeting in the middle of the night. Okay, spend Herb Serenity, and I'll be able to get past this really strong guy. Here, medicine. Good night. Resistant Nut. Perfect jerky. Re reinforcing jam. I'm not sure if it's worth it. Okay, I think I need to use Slumber Sage on you. Here, medicine. Good night. So you're saying this girl has been staring at me day and night from the shadows? It's no wonder I felt someone was always watching me. Hmm. Oh, uh, well, what? When? Why? How? Oh my goodness, it's you. You're him. Up close. Now what I do? You're absolutely beautiful. I think I'm in love. What? Just like that? Please be my sweetheart, and then someday let's get married. What? Huh? I'm alright. That was sudden. Woohoo, this is the best day ever. Now I feel layered in the air. Thank you. Dragon Scarf, 6,000. Just having her around makes all my fatigue melt away. Never thought I'd actually get close to them, let alone be a sweetheart. I'm so happy, I could faint. Thanks for tuning in to this Let's Play of Octopath Traveler 2. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon.